let's give the uh, yellow GoPro another try again. So I'm just using the GoPro 10 with its internal mics and everything. So hopefully I don't have to record this whole thing again because I'm doing an install or removal install kind of thing together. Um, so I talked about in the past video about some of the parts that I was going to use um, for the car. Well, let me turn these lights on. And, uh, you know, what was happening. So I stated that I was going to pick up some radium engineering parts, which I did not do. Well, I did buy them, but I canceled the order and went a different route through some recommendations. Um, these recommendations come pretty highly um, respectable, so I trust the recommendations. And in this case, I don't, and I'm not stating that radium at all is bad because I'm, those recommendations also state that radium makes um, some of the best parts for certain things. It's just, I heard there's some differences with uh, people who like their regulators or fuel brush regulators. Now I'm not saying I have any issues with it. Um, I actually have, you know, this Aeromotive regulator, which it worked, it did its job. I'm, I don't even know if anything's wrong with it. I don't know much about these. Um, I just was hearing that if my issues are regulator um, related, that it just could be because I'm using Aeromotive. But Aeromotive has been around for a while. So again, got to spend money to play a little bit, you know, and, try and test things out. So maybe there is an issue with this. And I don't know, maybe it's maybe it's affected. Maybe it's not. Maybe it's something else. But whatever, forget all that nonsense. So today we have, um, I kind of like to see myself. I have a few parts from, I don't even know if you can see it, for, um, for Innovations, if I'm not mistaken, is their name. I don't have it on the thing, but they're out of Clearwater, Florida, so just down the way from me. Um, this is their 120 millimeter uh, fuel filter. It's a pretty simple product. One in and outside, um, you unscrew it. Inside you have your filter element. In this case, I went with the stainless steel micro glass. Yes, the micro glass stainless steel, not the actual stainless steel filter. Although, maybe I'm saying that wrong. There's three levels, right? You have like a regular filter, which is cellulose based. Um, and then you have this guy, and then you have the upgraded one, which is reusable. These ones are all replaceable or non-reusable. Um, this is supposedly the best middle one that you need. Um, so you have the filter, nothing special. You have a spring inside, spring goes inside. You gotta make it straight, pop the guy in, put a little pressure, and lock it up. It does use that, I'm gonna forget the word. Damn, I had the word in my head. Whatever, it starts with like a V, I think. Viviline, Viviline, or whatever. It's a special type of um, rubber, I guess, for the seals that they don't get messed away with ethanol and other stuff. So close it up, tight it up, and then there you go. Problem is, where the hell am I gonna put this damn thing? It's a giant horse pill. Um, I don't know. We'll have to play with that and test some things out. I didn't want to buy their little mount kit they had. They wanted forty-five dollars or something like that, forty bucks for just a piece of aluminum mount. I'd rather just make one. I don't. I ain't worried about prettiness too much. So, along with that, we have their air fuel um or well, their fuel pressure regulator. So I did purchase their fittings, which I did now find out that. Um, there is a company down the street from me that makes AN fittings. That's pretty, um, pretty good company. Um, but I had to buy the, um, yeah, make sure you clean these out. I'm finding a lot of little pieces of just stuff. I'm going to, I'm going to drench these things and clean these things out before I put them in. Um, so I have a dash 10 to dash six adapt to adapters and then a plug at the other end, of course. Um, then you have your map reference port, which I do like. This is a quarter inch, um, or I think a six millimeter, if I'm not mistaken. I'm not good at the conversions. Um, plug. Um, so I did pick up, along with that, a good old five foot piece of silicone hose that is quarter inch or six millimeter. So it should slide right over there. And now we have a hose that should last and be able to handle the pressure, which I think could have been another issue. You know, using this basic, um, 
you know, vacuum hose that's OEM based, I I would think maybe under 30 pounds of boost, this guy might not be able to handle it. I don't know. I, I just, again, I didn't look that up too much. So this is all just speculation. Whatever. So silicone hose, good, better. It was pretty cheap. Five, 10 bucks for this. I could have got a better deal for what a bulk bought, which I should have did. But oh, well, my loss. Um, so fuel pressure regulator. The only difference between these two is nothing. They're, they're the same. Now it's the internals that are the difference. So you have a about a hundred dollar, if I'm not mistaken, fuel pressure regulator, and you have a two hundred dollar fuel pressure regulator. This is the middle run um, that four offers. They offer a um, cheaper one that uses a different internal diaphragm spring setup, and then this one, which uses a stainless steel and ceramic, and then they have a upgraded one which is the same exact thing. It just has a four port instead of a two port setup. Um, I'm only using one port because I'm using a uh, series based system and then my return. So we'll give this guy a try. Maybe it'll fix the issue. Maybe it won't. Maybe it'll make it better. I do like the product and it's really well made compared to Air Motive's, you know, process line based product. This is more handmade, but is that better? I don't know. So that's the two, <coughs> me. that's the two things that, um, I decided to pick up now as far as putting this somewhere I'm, I'm assuming I'm gonna have to like I don't know oh, I'm, I'm waiting for these these are dash 10 so that was like dash eights but this is dash 10 these are big things um this giant pill is gonna have to go somewhere we'll, we'll figure that out so right now I am going to since I'm switching a few fuel um filters I'm going to go ahead and go back into the um, OEM hangar and get rid of the OEM fuel filter and put in a uh, hose. So that's the next thing I'm going to do. So come along. Okay, let's take apart this uh, this guy here. So Nothing too fancy. I kind of gathered it up for the most part. I'm assuming that might be something to look into right there. I'll be back. So I'm not afraid to show off my creative beauty. It's, uh, it's not the best, but here we go. So fuel uh, hanger. So I couldn't get anything on the bottom there on the rubber. So I tried to keep it like, I guess you could say elevated, even though it's not the right word to try and keep it separated. So this first um, clamp is not really doing much. It's just holding it on tight. This top clamp is the one actually holding it on. I have a rubber piece around it. I have a hose stuffed down in there. And I obviously I don't want it to be like um, a thousand percent clamped to it from what I've read. You want it to be able to at least assume its vibration portions when it, when it pumps. So there's some rubber there to help with that. And then the hose here, as you can see, goes right up into this guy here. And then the wiring is just, you know, held in place with another smaller clamp, um, and uh, we're good to go.